My name is David Petrosky. I'm a California attorney representing landlords with eviction cases. In each episode I present, I'll do my best to be brief while at the same time addressing main points and providing important information for landlords. In this video, I will be discussing a small exception to the ban on no-fault evictions in LA County. This exception is available to property owners during Phase 1 and Phase 2 of the LA County COVID-19 Tenant Protections Resolution. This exception relates to the ability of a landlord to remove a tenant from a rental property for the purpose of owner or owner family member moving into the property. The laws surrounding owner move-in evictions in LA County are complicated and there are many requirements owners must meet in order to successfully evict a tenant for owner move-in. This video is not meant to fully explain the LA County owner move-in rules. Rather, it will provide a high-level overview of many, but not all, of the main requirements for an owner or owner family member move-in eviction. Another one of our videos discusses the LA County eviction moratorium in detail. The Los Angeles County Board of Supervisors created a three-phase system to eventually end the eviction moratorium. This video will be referring to these three phases. For owner or owner family member move-ins, there are some differences between Phase 1 and Phase 2. However, there are more similarities than differences. I will first outline the main requirements for owner or owner family member move-in evictions that apply during both Phase 1 and Phase 2, and I will then explain the additional requirements that are in effect during Phase 1. Near the end of this video, I'll explain some good news relating to Phase 3. First, I need to define what would be considered a no-fault eviction because an owner or owner family member move-in is a type of a no-fault eviction. An owner move-in eviction is a type of a no-fault eviction because the tenant is not being evicted due to some violation or fault of the tenant, but rather because the owner wants the property back for some other reason that is not the fault of the tenant. This is why it's called a no-fault eviction. Generally in LA County, no fault evictions are not allowed during phase one and phase two of the eviction moratorium, with the exception of some owner move-in evictions. Here are some of the requirements that are in effect during both phase one and phase two for owner move-in or owner family member move-in evictions. It applies to single family residences, mobile home spaces, condos, duplexes, and triplexes. The landlord or the family member must live at the property for at least 36 consecutive months after the tenant vacates the unit. The landlord or family member must be similarly situated to the tenant, and there are a few examples that the county provides of what similarly situated means. One example is that if the tenant or the tenant's household members is at least 62 years of age or older, then the landlord or landlord's family member also has to be at least 62 years of age. Another example from the county is that if the tenant or a tenant's household member is a person with a disability and has a physical or mental impairment that limits one or more of the person's major life activities, then the landlord or family member of the landlord must also have some type of a disability. Again, going to the fact that the landlord or family member needs to be similarly situated. One other example from the county is that if the residential tenant is a low-income household, then the landlord or family member must also be a low-income household. Another requirement is that a landlord must give the tenant at least a 60-day notice to terminate the tenancy and relocation assistance needs to be paid to the tenant as required under the county rent stabilization ordinance. Landlord or the landlord family member must first seek to occupy a vacant unit if there are three or more units on the rental property. If there are no such vacant units, then the landlord or family member may displace the most recently occupied unit. Landlord must be a natural person and possess legal title to at least 50% of the rental property. And the landlord must provide written notice to the County of Los Angeles. And there are specific forms that landlords slash owners will need to fill out and submit to LA County. Once the residential tenant has moved out, the landlord or family member needs to move into the property within 60 days. Now, during phase one, there are even more restrictions on owner move-in evictions in LA County. 
A landlord or qualifying family member can move into the property if, one, the property was purchased on or before June 30th, 2021, and two, the residential tenant needs to have been able to pay rent and does not have financial impacts related to COVID-19. These two additional requirements are only in effect during phase one. They are not in effect during phase two. As promised, I also have some good news. During phase three of the Los Angeles County eviction moratorium rules, there will be no restrictions on no-fault evictions. Of course, this is subject to the Los Angeles County Rent Stabilization Ordinance, which generally applies to unincorporated parts of LA County, and also subject to any state laws such as AB 1482 and Civil Code 1946.2. But with respect to the LA County Eviction Moratorium and its ban on no-fault evictions, that ban on no-fault evictions will go away at the end of phase two. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you'll be notified when we post new videos. On our website, which is attorneydavid.com, we also publish a blog with a lot of landlord-tenant best practices and eviction articles. If you are a landlord and you would like a consultation, you can schedule one on our website. Again, that is attorneydavid.com. We also encourage you to follow us on both Facebook and Twitter because we do post a lot of updates on eviction rules and regulations along with best practices. Thank you.